Hey everybody, Easy Badfish here. Welcome back to Primecraft Season 2. So, uh, I've just been AFK here for a few hours at the gold farm, and uh, I want to talk to you guys real quick uh, for a few minutes while I sort out all these gold nuggets and things. Um, so yeah, it's been a while since I've been on the server actually actively playing, probably about a week or so. Uh, I have just been really tired, uh, physically and mentally exhausted. And um, there's a reason for that, and it's, it's a pretty simple one, and I don't really talk about my personal life here too much, so I'm sure you guys have absolutely no idea. But I used to be, uh, what's a good way to say this, really fat. <laughs> uh, I used to weigh nearly 300 pounds, which I think is something like, I don't know, 135 kilograms or something like that. That's pretty, that's a pretty big dude. Um, and uh, back in 2013, 2014, I worked really hard. I spent a lot of time and I lost 120 pounds, which is, um, what is that? About 54 kilograms, I believe, something like that. So for the last few months, however, um, my depression, which is uh, a problem that I've had literally my entire life, I kind of got the better of me, and I kind of let myself go quite a bit, and I've, g I've gained like 30 of those pounds back. So for the last two weeks, I have been, you know, counting calories again, and last I've been running again, and last week, or this week, rather, I, uh, I started going to the gym again, and that seems to be too much, too fast, and my body needs time to adjust, so I've just been... Uh, it's so out of it, you know, like it's been uh, hard to record uh, I mean, I'm sure you guys can tell just by the way I'm talking right now that I'm not uh, I'm not entirely with it So if I sound out of it, I sound tired. That is why um, So yeah, that's that's that so uh, <laughs> Yeah, anyways uh, today I am planning on finally Opening up a shop. I think uh, I don't have one yet and I don't really know what to to do, so I decided I was since I've got a gold farm, uh, and there's not a gold farm in the community area because there there really can't be because that would affect the the uh, the mob farm that we have there, and uh, and we don't want to do that. So that's why I built it out here. And since, as far as I know, I, I think Scoozy might be planning on building one eventually, but as far as I know right now, this is the only gold farm on the server. So I figured it might be okay to where did all my iron for the beacon go? I don't know. We'll have to. It's not like not like we're running out or anything. We got that massive iron farm at its spawn, which is probably full right now. Um, but yeah, so uh, I figure I've got all this gold, and I don't really need all of it. So why not open a shop? Alright guys, we're getting here to the shopping district now, and uh, if you're following the other primers, which you should be, their links are in my description, uh, make sure you go subscribe to their channels and like their videos and all that fun stuff. But yeah, if you're doing that already, you probably already know what's out here. We've got Vidigravius Potion Shop, we've got uh, Scoozy's Rocket and Elytra Shop, Sugar Blob's working on another cave, uh, Folex is building something, I'm not sure whose building this is or what it's supposed to be, Super Turtle's marked out a plot already. So I kind of want to pick a spot that's not, not here. I just, I don't really like that area. I don't want, this is good, but I think it's a little close to Turtle's base. And uh, I don't want to, I don't want to get that close to him. So I'm actually thinking that this spot right here will be pretty good. And of course it is getting nighttime. So uh, what I plan on building is actually just a, not a big fancy shop or anything like that. Um, but I want it to be floating, like up almost on a cloud. Uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> so let's, let's grab some stuff. All right, a little more setup now. Um, so the first thing I want to do is figure out where the edge is going to be, which uh, we'll just kind of arbitrarily pick a spot. And I think here is probably good. Sure, right there. And then we got to figure out how high up do I want this to be? Because the higher up we go, the more the staircase is going to be and the more resources I'm going to have to use. And it's going to be a fairly expensive uh, fairly expensive build. I'm going to be using some quartz and some glass and stuff. So I don't want to go too crazy with it. 
but I want you to be able to walk up to it if you don't have an elytra. So even though I'm pretty sure most people on the server do, so I think this is probably maybe a little bit more. Eh, it might be too high. Yeah, this seems fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a circle. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. And it's a pretty simple circle. Just a one, two. Come on, buddy. Come on. Here. And then two going this way. And now we should be doing five again. So we have five, and then two, one, and then two, and then five. So yeah, if I just do this all the way around, it should meet back up right there. And then this one, and then this should... Perfect. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is kind of fill this in a little bit. And yeah, I'm all lined up here. So we'll go ahead and start filling this in some. Oh man, I... I'm probably going to run out of this stuff. <laughs> Alright, so that's all in place now. I did end up having to go back to base and uh, making up some more white concrete, but that's not that big a deal. I thought a stack and a half would be enough, but I was wrong. <laughs> so uh, next we're going to go ahead and throw in some pillars with the quartz pillar block to kind of define the corners of the structure that we're going to be building on top of the cloud here. So we'll just finish this up and I'm using a uh, netherrack block at the top because I'm going to be putting stuff around it but not necessarily, so, so the block itself is not going to be visible but I want something there so that I have uh, an easier time placing blocks later. So I got that going on, next up we'll go ahead and have it on me, oh man I hope that's enough. It might not be. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, run these walls here with yellow concrete. Like so. Yeah, definitely not going to be enough. Man, I, I am just so unprepared. Not that any of you guys are surprised by that, I'm sure. <laughs> I had enough to do one side. Uh, I have some powder, which I definitely don't need that much powder, so I'm going to convert some of it. Okay, so both walls are now in place. Um, well, we're not going to leave them solid yellow walls, of course. Let's go ahead and put down our shiny box and grab a few gold blocks because we're going to put just just a little, a little design in the wall here. Nothing super fancy. Let's uh, go ahead and do that. We'll just Put in a little plus sign, like that, and we'll do one over here. Grab all that stuff. Don't want to lose it. <laughs> Converting concrete. Um, you know, a lot of people complain about it. I don't necessarily think it's the worst thing ever, but it could definitely, it could definitely be improved somehow. I'm sure. Uh, I'm not really sure how you would do it, but I'm sure somebody could figure out a way. <laughs> to make it a little better. So now what I want to do is kind of just randomly go through here and replace some of these concrete blocks with concrete powder blocks just to kind of give it a little bit of a different color, a little bit of a different texture. I think it's going to look pretty cool. I think it's going to look pretty cool. Yeah, it's coming along. Let's grab one maybe up there. Oh, can't reach it. Is that going to knock it off? Yeah. Sweet. All right, yeah, that's, that's good. Uh, for that one, we'll go ahead and do here. Maybe we'll put those two. Whoops, not a glowstone. Not a glowstone. Uh, let me grab this back. Okay. And a couple more. Here and here. And maybe one here. Possibly up here. And right there. That'll probably be enough. There. All right, do I have any more concrete blocks back here? I do. Sweet, we picked those up. Nothing fell down. Yeah, we're fine. We are fine. So that's pretty cool looking, I think. All right, and then I want to come directly in the middle and put... We're probably going to lose this. Nope, nice. <laughs> put one of those there like that, and then, um, I don't know, what do you say? Like 
this and we'll make like a smaller inner circle. Maybe two blocks out, I think. Yeah, we definitely, definitely lost those. It's a good thing we got some of that yellow back, though. Uh, so we'll come out two and then go three. Yeah, I'll, I'll jump back down there in a second and pick those up. Just messing around with the designs, you know. Oops. No, that's all right. Like that looks pretty good. I want to put something here, though. Maybe more glowstone. Light up the area. Looks good. Looks good. Because glowstone actually works pretty well in this build. <laughs> As you can see, it matches with the rest of the colors pretty nicely. Let's go ahead and jump down here. All right, back up top now. Uh, I've got a few stairs to use, and that's where this is going to come in handy because we're going to, on the tops of the pillars, come out with some upside down stairs, which will kind of, kind of give it a slightly arched look. It's not going to be like a big arch or anything because it's not that big of a structure. So, um, because we're basically dealing with a because it's a small structure, that means it's kind of like low resolution as far as Minecraft is concerned. So you can't get super detailed with it, but that should be um, at least enough to give it a little bit more of a fancy, fancy look. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I probably want more glowstone around the edges. Maybe we'll put some, like, on the actual edges. <laughs> Just to uh, help keep everything nice and lit up. Oh. Drop and stuff. And this one. Man, I just came back. I just came back from down there. <laughs> picking up picking up concrete. Ooh. Ow. Man, I almost forgot a pillar. I bet you guys were freaking out. Don't freak out, man. <laughs> I saw it. I'm fixing it. There, see? No problem. No problem at all. All right. Um, what else can we do? Okay, I think it's time to make use of some of these slabs I got. And hopefully, I have enough. Uh, I don't like not having torches, so we'll go ahead and grab those. And let's pillar up here. Um, here like this and then I'm just going to mess place with glowstone again and I think I'm just going to slab the top of all of this stuff here and actually I'm going to bring it across but I want to bring it across right here. Not here. Right? No. Well, I do want a slab there, but, um... Hmm. This is looking a little weird. Mm. Ah. Okay. So I'm thinking, I guess, well... Right. That's what was throwing me off. I want to make this too wide here. So we'll come across... Whoops, not you. And then here, here, and here. Coming across. All right, that's looking okay. I also think I want to make it too wide here around the walls. Ooh. I'm going to need more quartz slabs. Hmm. Probably. Maybe not. I don't know. I guess we'll see here in a second because, all right, that part is all done. So we can take our pillar back down. And now on the outside, I want to take the rest of these slabs and just do kind of a random pattern uh, kind of like this although I don't want them at that you know, you know what that'll be fine that'll be fine put them on the top half 
I was thinking, well, we might get mobs spawning in there, but I think I'm going to put some glowstone back here as well. There's glowstone right there, but I also put one right there, which should just keep any mobs from spawning on our little platform here. And now I'm going to have to ender pearl my way back over. So we can do the same thing on the other side. And it looks like I'll probably have enough slabs for this, which is pretty sweet. Oops, give me that back. And you too. Man, see what I mean about being tired? I just cannot. I just can't today. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying, you guys. I'm trying. Uh, yeah, I mean... That's okay. I think I could do this, though. I've got enough slabs to do on the other side as well. So that's fine. Uh, into pearls again. Okay. And again. <laughs> and then slab, slab. Wait. I put put those in the wrong place. Man, I am I am definitely out of it. Okay, give me those. Give me. Nope. So you, you, you. You. Okay. Perfect. So now... Oh! Elytra, why you no activate? <laughs> so, yeah, that's looking pretty cool. We got a little floating platform here that's definitely, uh, definitely looking kind of gold here. <laughs> uh, okay, so next thing. I need to make a bunch of white glass and I actually I'm not sure if I have any bone meal in here ah I've got plenty <laughs> okay all right so for the underneath side uh, I've got a bunch of glass on me but because we're gonna be building stuff underneath it which was a lot easier in creative mode I promise you <laughs> um, we're gonna have to pillar up and we're going to have to do this a couple of times, actually. But to start with, we are just going to come out like this by two. And uh, this is going to be the middle. So let's, well, we'll just say this. One, two, three for that. Because we want this area to be seven. Uh, and actually not at this level. Dang it. So down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a total of seven there. And then we're going to come here and we're going to do one, two, and then one, and then one, and then two, and then this is where our seven starts. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, and then the same thing. So two, one, one, two. All right, got the ring all done, got it filled in underneath. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to kind of build, I'm just going to wing it, but I'm going to build kind of a dome underneath it, like a reverse dome. But I want to fill in every other layer so we kind of get that fog effect. I'm sure most of you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, this is going to take way more glass than I originally thought, and uh, I've actually got a bunch smelting up in my house right now, so hopefully I'm close enough. You can you can actually see the house and the beacon beam, so I think it should still be uh, close enough to be loaded. Oh, I guess we'll kind of have to wait and see on that one, but how I'm going to do this is basically just um, pillar out here and kind of go, all right, well... Let's let's build. We'll just kind of build out like this. So, uh, where do I wanna do I wanna keep going there? Uh, maybe if I can get over there and see. Um, yeah, I think so. And then like that, and then like that. Yeah. So basically, we're just gonna come in by one 
all the way around and this is going to be a giant pain because I'm going to have to I'm basically going to have to build this uh, netherrack pillar all the way around and uh, hopefully I've actually got enough netherrack I might not uh, <laughs> that would be funny kinda <laughs> So once I've got the first step down in place, in order to add a second step down, uh, I'm going to have to, uh, again, go with the uh, some kind of support block, basically, so I can swing in like this, and then probably come out like this, and this one is going to be a solid level so that we have glass and then a level of air and then a level of glass again so I am going to build this up and then I'll come back to you guys when we can check it out all right and that's what it looks like <laughs> it's a uh, you know it's not perfect uh, I didn't use like plots or anything to build this dome I just kind of winged it but uh I think it looks all right. It does what I want. You know, it looks kind of like it's floating up there on this misty cloud. And when you're underneath it, you know, it's definitely got that fog effect, which is pretty cool. So uh, the next thing I've got to do, and I guess, is put in the staircase. And I'm wondering if I should... Oh, I hear zombies. Probably down there somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm thinking... I can either have it come down from the front, but that would bring it, like, way out here. Probably even further than that, and it would take up a whole bunch of space, and I don't really want to do that. So what I think I'm actually going to do is hop up top and start from the back and then kind of curve it around so the entrance is, like, is like here, I guess, and you kind of walk up and then up that way. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely zombies under here. Oh. Yeah, well, guess I'll never find them. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get the staircase in place, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the staircase is done. I made it out of white glass and quartz slabs, and it just swings around the side and up the back, and you can just kind of walk up in here. So, uh, this is pretty much done. I just got to, obviously, uh move in the inventory and add a sign and I think we'll call this place uh, Heaven's Path and I've been thinking about this uh, my gold farm isn't super great but I mean it's basically the same thing I said last season it's not the greatest but um, I think two diamonds stack is okay uh, I'd like to add more but it really a stack of gold isn't worth much more than two diamonds, so eh, it is what it is. <laughs> but that's that's fine. Yeah, I'm I'm not really trying to make a bunch of diamonds. I don't really have a whole lot of use for them at the moment. So all right, we'll put that there. We'll maybe put a chest here and a chest here. Uh, we'll put an ender chest over here because all shops should have an ender chest, as a rule. <laughs> and then we'll just. Uh, move all this gold over uh, each block is or each stack of blocks is one row of items so it's gonna take six stacks of blocks to fill the, these two chests but hey that's cool I gonna just AFK more <laughs> okay so I just came back from editing the video that I've got so far and <laughs> so I'm sure nobody is surprised because I'm kind of not as usual I managed to record about twice as much as I thought I did uh, and even after cutting it down this is pretty much a full episode I had planned on doing something else but we can save it for a later episode and that is no big deal at all so yeah hope you guys liked the shop uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and leave a like leave me a comment down below let me know what you think of it if you've got any suggestions on things we do to make it better if you've got any ideas you want to see me build uh, if you're enjoying the prime craft series sure be sure to subscribe and uh, check out the other primers as I mentioned earlier they're in the description below and until next time you guys I'll see you later bye bye <laughs>